10 sex scandals that shocked the world. From time immemorial, sex has always been big news. It is even a bigger issue when it involves the people we see on television. Unfortunately, some of the people involved in sexual misconduct are not just people we see on television, but people we rely on for leadership, mentoring, and even spiritual guidance. In today's episode, we look at 10 sex scandals that left the world paralyzed in dismay. Number 10. Dominique Strauss-Kahn Strauss-Kahn is the former managing director of the International Monetary Fund, or IMF, who attained notoriety due to multiple sexual scandals. On May 14, 2011, the world was in shock when a 32-year-old maid at the New York Sofitel Hotel, Navisato Diallo, alleged to have been sexually assaulted by Strauss-Kahn, then managing director of the IMF. During his trial in June 2011, Strauss-Kahn pleaded not guilty. However, the DNA test result on the semen sample found on the maid's shirt matched the DNA sample submitted by Strauss-Kahn. During this time, other women came up with similar allegations against the IMF president, including famous French journalist Tristane Bannon, who claimed Strauss-Kahn had attempted to rape her. In March 2012, just nine months after the New York incident, Strauss-Kahn came under another investigation in France over his involvement in a notorious prostitution ring that organized sex orgies at hotels in Paris and Washington, and then another investigation into his possible involvement in a recently reported gang rape. On July 26, 2013, French prosecutors again announced that Strauss-Kahn would stand trial for a new allegation of aggravated pimping at the Carlton Hotel in Lille, France. Though Strauss-Kahn was forced to resign from his position as managing director of the International Monetary Fund a week after the New York incident, he was miraculously acquitted of all the charges on June 12, 2015. Number 9. The Berlusconi Rubygate Scandal Silvio Berlusconi is an Italian businessman and politician who served as Prime Minister of Italy in four governments between 1994 to 2001. His choice of young, attractive female candidates in his government has always been a cause for concern to the Italian public. Berlusconi came under fire in November 2010 for what would later be referred to as the Ruby Gate scandal, when an underaged Moroccan belly dancer, Karima El Marouk, narrated an orgy in Berlusconi's private via involving Berlusconi and over 20 nude young women performing an African-style sex ritual known as the Bunga Bunga. Karima, then 16, claimed to have received $10,000 for her participation. Police records later revealed that six months prior, when Karima was being held at a juvenile detention center for theft, Berlusconi made a phone call ordering her immediate release on diplomatic grounds, claiming that she was a close relative of Hosni Mubarak, the then president of Egypt. On June 24, 2013, Berlusconi was convicted for having sex with a minor and sentenced to seven years in prison. Number 8. Reverend Murphy and the 200 Deaf Children there have been countless cases of child sexual abuse by Catholic priests in the last decades. However, the Reverend Murphy scandal was simply too much for Christendom to bear. Lawrence Murphy was a priest and teacher at St. John's School for the Deaf in Milwaukee from 1950 to 1974. In 1974, the local police department and the county district attorney in Milwaukee received multiple allegations of sexual abuse of deaf children by Murphy. Still, they expressed doubts over the allegation's credibility. Over 200 deaf boys had been allegedly abused by Murphy. When the issue became too hot, Milwaukee Archbishop William Cousins gave Murphy a leave of absence, advising him to take refuge in Vilas County. In 1984, when other angry teachers expressed concern about the issue, Archbishop Weakland responded by saying, quote unquote, any libelous material found in your letters would be scrutinized carefully by our lawyers. Investigations later revealed that Weakland shredded complaints about child sexual abuse by priests. In 1996, when the matter was reported to the Vatican, Cardinal Ratzinger, later Pope Benedict XVI, said the alleged molestation had occurred too long ago and that the accused priest should only be made to repent and be restricted from celebrating Mass. By this time, Reverend Murphy was already facing severe health issues that eventually took his life two years later. Though Weakland later confessed to wrongdoing, he stated in his autobiography that he didn't understand that child sexual abuse was a crime in the early years of incidences. Number 7. The 2010 Vatican Employees' Sex Scandal On March 4, 2010, the Vatican was rocked by a serious sex scandal when one of the Pope's attendants and a member of the St. Peter's Choir were reported by the Italian press to be part of a gay prostitution ring. Those involved were Angelo Balducci, 
who served as an attendant of the Pope, and Chinito Ehim, a member of St. Peter's Basilica Choir. The police started recording Balducci's telephone conversations to investigate his alleged involvement in an organized network of widespread corruption. Wiretaps and police reports then revealed that Ahame had been in regular contact with Balducci, and the main topic of their discussion was gay sex. In essence, Balducci was pimping Ahame for the services of male prostitutes. In one of their conversations, Ahame gave physical descriptions of men he wanted to bring over to Balducci. One of the men was described as 2 meters tall, 97 kilos, aged 33, and completely active. In other recorded conversations, Ahame was heard saying, I have a situation from Naples. I have a German who just landed. I have two black guys. I have the soccer player. Other tapes also revealed that Ahim had been procuring and sending over seminarians to Balducci. Balducci was arrested by the police for corruption, while Ahim was expelled from the Basilica Choir. Ahim had been a choir member for 19 years. He accused the police of ruining his life. Number 6. Donald Trump Multiple Allegations Former U.S. President Donald Trump has been accused of all sorts of sex-related offenses, including rape, sexual assault, and sexual harassment by over 25 women since the 1970s. Most of the allegations became public in 2016, during his presidential campaign with the release of a 2005 audio recording. Trump was recorded narrating an incident where he tried to force himself on a married woman and boasting that as a celebrity he can do whatever he wants to women. I'll admit it. I did try and fuck her. She was married. It's huge news, Sarah. No, no, Nancy. Yeah. Na no, this was... And I moved on her very heavily. I took her off her and she, I moved on her like a bitch. But I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I, you know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss them. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. I can do anything. Pull the hell. Hello, how are you? Trump subsequently described his language as locker room talks and denied actually behaving as such towards women. Later that year, Trump promised to sue all the women who have made allegations of sexual misconduct against him. He never followed through with any lawsuit. On January 12, 2018, the Wall Street Journal reported that Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen had made a $130,000 payment to an adult film actress Stormy Daniels to prevent her from disclosing an affair she had with Trump in 2006. A month later, Cohen acknowledged making the payment, but said it was made with his own funds and without the president's knowledge. Number 5. Roman Polanski's Sexual Abuse Case In March 1977, celebrity film director Roman Polanski, 43, was convicted in Los Angeles for sodomy and rape by use of drugs of 13-year-old Samantha Geimer. Polanski had asked Geimer's mother if he could take photo shoots of the girl for Vogue Paris, the French edition of Vogue magazine. According to Geimer's testimony, they did photo shoots with her drinking champagne, after which he asked her to lie down on a bed, and he performed oral, vaginal, and anal sex upon her. Polanski underwent a psychiatric evaluation as requested by the court and was placed under probation, but just before he was due to be sentenced, he fled to France. 32 years later, on September 26, 2009, Polanski was arrested at the Zurich airport in connection with the Geimer affair while trying to attend the Zurich Film Festival. However, the Swiss court rejected the U.S. request to have Polanski extradited. He was later freed on a $4.5 million bail. Geimer's case inspired the fight against sexual assault in Hollywood, long before the Me Too movement. Number 4. Michael Jackson's 1993 Accusations In August 1993, the world was in shock when a Los Angeles dentist, Evan Chandler, accused Michael Jackson of sexually abusing his 13-year-old son, Jordan Chandler. Jordan's stepfather, a car dealer, had introduced Michael to the boy after Jackson rented a car from his dealership. Jackson and Jordan became very close. Jordan visited and spent weekends at Jackson's home, the Neverland Ranch. Jordan gave detailed accounts of how Jackson performed masturbation and oral sex on him for months and even described Jackson's penis. On August 4, 1993, the Chandlers rejected a $350,000 settlement offer from Jackson's lawyer. The news broke out on August 24th while Jackson was on a world tour. It received global media attention. Jackson canceled the rest of the tour and managed to reach a financial settlement of $23 million with the Chandlers. By 1994, two grand juries were convened, but Jordan's allegations could not be corroborated. Jackson expressed regrets for making the payment. The allegations severely impacted Michael Jackson's public image, 
and resulted in the cancellation of several commercial endorsements, including a decade-long Pepsi deal. Similar allegations were made in 2005 by other parties and in 2009 after Jackson's passing. Number 3. The George Tron Foot Massage Scandal George Tron served as mayor of Dravail in southern Paris and minister of civil service under former French president Nicolas Sarkozy. In May 2011, two women came up with allegations that Tron pressured them into foot massage sessions that usually progressed into forceful sexual encounters. The sessions were allegedly held in Tron's office and in the town hall. They were coordinated by Tron's personal assistant, Bridget Gruel, who contributed in creating a hypersexualized environment at the city's town hall. When these accusations became public, a dozen other women who worked for the municipality came forward to attest to Tron's inappropriate behavior. He was fond of hiring beautiful women in financial difficulties, to whom he forcefully gave foot massages. On February 17, 2021, George Tron, now referred to as the Chinese masseur by the French political class, was sentenced to five years in prison for rape. Gruel was given a two-year suspended sentence for facilitating rape. Number 2. The Clinton Monica Gate Scandal in January 1998, the Monica Gate scandal sent shockwaves through American society and the world at large when it became public knowledge that the United States president was allegedly involved in a sexual relationship with Monica Lewinsky, a 21-year-old unpaid intern at the White House. When Clinton denied the allegations, Linda Tripp, a friend of Lewinsky, turned in tapes of her phone conversation with Lewinsky to Kenneth Starr, the special prosecutor leading the investigation. Tripp had become close with Lewinsky two years earlier, while both worked in the Pentagon Public Affairs office. She started recording her private telephone conversations with Lewinsky once she learned of the affair. During that time, two other women came up with allegations of sexual misconduct against Clinton. First, Kathleen Willey, who was part of Clinton's 1992 presidential campaign team, claimed that Clinton groped her in the Oval Office in 1993, and then a flight attendant and former Miss America, who also claimed she was groped by Clinton. On August 17, 1998, Clinton finally admitted to the American people that he was involved in an affair with Lewinsky. On February 12, 1999, Clinton was acquitted of all charges following a Senate's impeachment trial. Before we get to the top of our list, please remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Number 1. The Harvey Weinstein Serial Rape Scandal Harvey Weinstein is a celebrity film producer and co-founder of Miramax Films and The Weinstein Company. In October 2017, the New York Times published an article about dozens of women who had accused Weinstein of using his influential position to sexually abuse and rape women in the industry. According to the report, over 80 women have been Harvey's victims in the last 30 years. According to the accusers, Weinstein would invite young actresses into a hotel room to discuss career opportunities and demand for massage and sex. Though Weinstein denied ever involving in any non-consensual sex, there was an overwhelming number of accusations, evidence, and witnesses against him, presented by a group of alleged victims led by an Italian actress, Asia Argento. In May 2018, Weinstein was indicted for rape and other grave sex offenses. In February 2020, he was found guilty of rape in the third degree and sentenced to 23 years in prison. Even after Weinstein's sentencing, criminal investigations into new complaints from six other women from Los Angeles, New York, and London are ongoing. Thank you for watching and do well to check out our next video right here.